Hello, friends! So, I posted up on the group that I had my Flawless and Five come in the other day. So, I told you guys that there would be a tutorial in the future. So, here is it is the future, and we're gonna do that tutorial right now. So, first, I'm gonna go wash my face. Neat! So, I, as you can tell, I have no makeup on um, before I did because I just got home from work and I am going to show you guys the Flawless and Five as it is quick, it is painless, and doesn't take a lot of thinking. And I'm going to add a little bit of my spin on it too because I do have other clean beauty products that are that are good that may not be your favorite, but they're my favorite, so I wanted to show them to you. Anyway, so I'm going to take off my glasses. Uh, the first thing I have here in my bag of oh, tricks is the Tint Skint Hydrating uh, Foundation. Um, this is pretty much tinted moisturizer that um, works well with your skin. Um, this is actually the first product of Beauty Counter that I actually tried. And I got it from a friend of mine that um, it was too dark for her. Um, she actually uses porcelain. I use it in linen. And she really liked it and gave it to me. And that's kind of how I was bit by the Beauty Counter bug. So I usually just put my hands on it. You can use a foundation brush. You can use a beauty blender. You can do whatever you want. I'm not fancy, so I just use my hands. Um, so it's going to just blend it all out here. And it's going to all look nice and pretty for later. So make sure I don't have any lines. I'm really bad at this, as you can tell. So we'll keep that. Um, the next is going to be the concealer pen and so this product I Don't like the applicator, so I normally just use it to brush it on and then use my finger So it, it looks like a pen as you can tell I've already used it a little bit, so I do that 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 and that And then I have a pimple put down here it's those hormonal acne pimples. It sucks. If you have PCOS, you would know. So I just do this. I just go like that and that. Kind of just let it let it blend. And I just let that blend too. So I have no dark circles, or at least lighter dark circles. Moving on. So um, the next thing that I have that I'm going to use is the um, brow pencil, the color defined brow, pe brow pencil. I don't use this a lot because I guess you can tell I got me some brows. So you don't need much. Um, I have it in medium because it blends well with my brow color. I just do a little bit there and a little bit there. And then, well, I guess it's flat. And I just take the little brushy part and just go slop and slop and you're done. My eye is watering. I don't know why that's happening. Um, anyway, the next product is the um, Beauty Counter Volumizing Mascara. So I'm going to tell you guys a little story. So when I was mm, starting at ADP, um, I have a drive from exit 11 on Georgia 400 to downtown. Uh, for those that don't live in Atlanta, that's a really freaking long way. Like, 25 miles, at least an hour. It's a lot. I listen to a lot of podcasts and try to win a lot of radio contests. So, with that being said, um, I noticed when I was driving, if I was wearing, like, certain mascaras like Maybelline, CoverGirl, um, Tarte, if I scratch my eye at least a little bit and mascara gets into it, my eye waters and it stings and it sucks. So I'm here driving like this, trying to make sure that I, one, can see and two, can figure out what the hell is in my eye and without, one, looking like a crazy person and two, dying in a car, car, car wreck. So I was like, oh my God, if I could find a clean mascara, that would be fabulous. And I did. So I'm going to do mascara. I'm going to do this in front of the camera, which is going to be super weird. So I'm just going to add a smidge in there. 
and a smidgen here. Uh, usually I do the bottom lash, but I'm not going to do the bottom lash this time around because why the heck not? Why would I want to? So as you can tell, it's starting to volumize already, even in this angle, which is kind of awesome. So, and I already have long lashes, so I don't use the lengthening. If you have shorter lashes, you can do the lengthening if you wanted to, but I use the volumizing because I already have long lashes. Why? Why do the same thing? So, um, after that, we have the Satin Powder Blush. So, this comes in several colors. I have it in Melon, and it is pink. Oh. So, I don't really use a lot. I end up only using maybe just a little pat, pat, swipe. That's it. Pat, pat, swipe. And you can tell it's starting to give it a little bit of a flushy color onto my cheeks. But um, one thing I like doing, I'm a huge fan of the whole monochromatic look. So like cheeks and eyes look the same, have the same color. So I take a little bit, just put it under my eye. Just give it a little, give myself a little more color. And there we go. So nice and simple. Um, so I'm going to vary a little bit now. Um, one thing that I like um, from Clove and Hallow, which is um, another clean beauty uh, company, is they have the Sunrise Pressed Pigment Palette. Like, holy crap, guys. Look at all of those colors. Um, this color, shit. Um, this color right here, I use this as highlighter. So I will take my little highlighter brush wherever it is. There it is. This little guy. Do that. And just go on the top of my cheek. Give myself a little sheen. Look like a little glazed donut up in here. And then, lastly, I have um, a couple of options for lips that I do. I do get the um, lip gloss. I have it in rosewood, which is really pretty. Um, but though, usually I also do either the sheer lipstick or a Cloven Hallow lip cream, which I'm going to actually do today. And I have the lip cream in Desert Rose. So you can see that. Um, this is a really awesome nude. So I just do. Bam. And that is my look for work. Um, if I feel that I have a little bit um, too much, I sometimes put the, I get my big old brush. And I do the Cloven Hallow Mineral Powder. And just kind of go from there, and just kind of go all over, and just brush it off, tone it down, and that's it. That is it. That was, with all of my talking, uh, eight minutes. So if I'm not talking, if I'm just kind of like, bam, bam, let's go, it would probably be five minutes. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, the Flawless in 5 itself is not on sale, but you can get all the individual items on sale for 15% off this for these next few days. Alright, bye y'all!